You know, there's a little old place over in Epcot called The Land, and it features one of my favorite rides in all of Epcot, maybe all of Walt Disney World, the Living with the Land ride. So I'd like to preserve it a little bit, do a little special audio recording in binaural audio. So we're gonna use these special microphones and we're gonna record this thing. That way at any time we can come back to this video, put some headphones on and be there. Wear headphones if you're watching this cause it's gonna be really awesome. For real, just listen, it's so awesome. It, it's gonna be way cool. Anyways, let's do this. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, the often surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the cycle of life. the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times.
Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. When you think of holidays, you might not think of fish, but seafood is an essential part of many festive meals. In parts of southern Italy, family and friends gather once a year to celebrate La Pagina with a seven-course seafood dinner. Tobacco, bass, and shrimp, like the ones raised here, using our sustainable water systems, make up just some of the dishes served during this great meal. Today, in the United States, the tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida, but in northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybirds, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive it, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holidays. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts.
These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. Wow, 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 wow. What do you think about that? Was the sound as amazing as what I was thinking? I feel like it was, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. You, you have to tell me, let me know in the comments below, was the sound amazing? Did it feel like you were actually there? Because I, I don't know, I feel like it should. So, we'll see. Good. Thank you. That was a nice, nice people. So anyways, uh, you know, if you did like it, let me know by giving it the old thumbs up, maybe shooting a comment down in the, the thing down below. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. As far as we are concerned, that one was definitely pretty cool.